from One Heart TV, and I'm with Dion Jenkins. And we are at the beautiful Sequoia. Sequoias. Oh Sequoia my gosh. And Ranch. you've been sharing some stuff over here. Can you tell us a little bit about who you are? Yeah, so uh, my name is Dion Jenkins. Um, I actually uh, recently graduated from Florida oh. Union University. And I'm a Buffalo Soldiers uh, intern with the Green Youth Foundation. And I was basically brought here to tell the story of the Buffalo Soldiers and their impact on national parks. Uh, so it's been, you know, a very, uh, you know, pleasure of mine to really share this story, you know, because it's a very inclusive history. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to build, um, you know, an inclusive culture here. Absolutely. Yeah, so. There's not enough information that we can't always learn something and this is great i love it and again what is a buffalo soldier yeah so a buffalo soldier so after the civil war congress had authorized uh, four peace on regiments that were comprised primarily of african-american soldiers and this is what they look like you know they were segregated regiments of mm -hmm. black soldiers and there's three theories that's how they got the name there's one theory to suggest that they got the name because of their woolly hair and the color of their skin pretty much resembled uh, buffalo um, another theory suggests that they got the name because uh, they wore buffalo high coats in the cold temperatures. Mm, of course. Uh, and the last theory, which many people believe to be the most valid, is this idea that they got the name from the Cheyenne Indians because they fought so valiantly against them in the Indian Wars um, that it was given out of respect, you know, out of endearment, you know, to the, to the soldiers. Uh, but what it did for these men, regardless of how we, you know, uh, interpret how they got the name. Uh, is that it enhanced the military identity of these, these African-American soldiers because uh, the general perception was African-American soldiers were incapable of serving, but you know, of course, with the utmost distinction. But but these men, you know, proved that or debunked that myth and proved that wrong. That so uh, it, it's a very cool story uh, about men who, who persevered and, uh, you know, overachieved uh, adversity. Thank you. Yeah. I have to ask you one question with one heart as well. Yeah. I'm always in this. If you knew one thing, where everyone could get along, what would that one thing be that would help everyone in the world get along? Get along? I would say national parks, right? Just seeing that we're kind of bridging this gap, you know, in terms of like letting people know that their history is here. Um, so, you know, as you know, as you probably don't know, uh, in 1903, uh, when the Buffalo Soldiers came here, they were very um, respected by the community, you know, and that there was uh, this level of uh, integration that was pretty much exercised here because uh, they weren't thinking about race, but they were thinking about, you know, giant trees and the National Park idea. So the fact that people were able to come together uh, and share this National Park idea is what brings people together. So get out in nature more. In nature, huh? Thank you so much. No problem. Yeah, yeah it's nice to talk yeah. with you.